Okay, um, 16. Work done on a many particle system. 16. How does the energy law, W equals delta E, applied to a single particle, single particle, differ from the energy law, the energy law applied to a many particle system? Well, it's the same. Work is delta E. Okay, the work done on a, on a single particle or on a many particle uh, system, whether, right, if you've got your force there and there's some kind of displacement, um, it's the same as there, right? Work done on a single particle is, is your force times your displacement. Work done on a many particle system is, is the same, but where it, it, it still is the force multiplied by the displacement. But in the many particle system, you need to also consider that there might be many forces acting on a many particle system. Then, um, for work, for work for a many particle system, you need to sum up the F external delta X force for each of these, F1, F2, F3, for example. So you say F1 times delta X of that point of application, plus F2 times its delta X of that point of application, plus F3 times its uh, delta X of its point of application. You sum those up. That becomes the work done uh, on that many particle system which then changes the energy. Whereas for a single particle, it's just the, the resultant force or the force vector times your delta x, f. Okay. Um, hope that's clear. 17, you can look at that up. 18, how does the change in kinetic energy of a many particle system differ from the work done on on the system by its environment. How does the change in kinetic energy of a many particle system? Okay, so the change in kinetic energy, we're looking at delta K for a many particle system. How does that differ from the work done, from this work that's done on the system? Right, so we can see in this simple example you've got three forces. Each of these three forces is doing work, okay? F times delta X, F times its delta, F times its delta X. You add them up, and that is the total work that's done on the system. But now they're saying, how is this work that you've done here, how is that related? How does it differ from the kinetic energy? So... Remember, if you've got a single particle, we spoke about this earlier, if you've got a single particle, then, then the work, the only thing that can change in terms of its delta E, if you do work on this particle, is the kinetic energy. Why is that? That is because a particle has no uh, extent, it has got no internal structure, it cannot deform. So the internal energy cannot change for a particle. So the work that you do on a particle is, is simply going to change its kinetic energy. However, if you've got a many particle system, the work, uh, which this means that there, there is potentially an internal structure, which means that there can be deformation, right? You can change its shape. So the so, if you do work on a system, yes, it changes the energy, <clears throat> but the change in energy is not limited only to change in kinetic energy, but it could also have, so it, it's change in kinetic energy, but also change in internal energy, right? Does that make sense? So, we can't say 
that the work done, if you apply, if, if work is done on a system with a many particle system, we can't say the only change in energy is kinetic energy. There may potentially be a change in its shape, change in its temperature. Okay? <clears throat> so, um, that is the, the difference. But the change in kinetic energy is the the is is given by this the change in kinetic energy which is one of the components is given by the ex the sum of the external forces multiplied by the displacement of the center of mass okay so this is simply one of the components when you are apply when you're doing work on a system this is the change in kinetic energy is the change in kinetic energy of the system okay all right send me an email if you if this is a bit confusing but i think that hopefully that's clear